another day, same old road, familiar scenes. The creaky old minibus seems to have survived the wrecked roads with ease. A whiff of some kind of unpleasant smell. Ah, oof. So we move bumply and wobbly ahead to our destination to the campus. Akito, what happened? I tie a bunch again. We'll call in a taxi. You wanna come? Hey, go ahead. Are you time to go? Are you going to go? Hey, Jolly Guru. It's obvious that I'm running late this morning. Oh, Ali, my classmate. Professor already in class. You have got the guts to respond from outside after getting led to my class. Come inside and tell me the truth and give me a good explanation. Sir, I'm really, really very sorry. Please forgive me. I'll be more responsible next time. More responsible. Go and take your seat.
Today, let's discuss something about the differences between the Hindu system of marriage and the Muslim system of marriage. Managing diversities and respecting cultures, identities are major challenges for India and other countries as well. No country is entirely homogeneous. Nearly 200 countries of the world. You can idle your time away looking at your classmates as they all try to survive a boring lecture. Uh, I just lost my eyes for once and I tried to recapture the seconds of magic I just experienced. Ah, my imagination is going on, the extra mile now. Of course, nothing like that happened, I just wish. Homogeneous because information... Hey, don't sleep! Hmm? What's his problem? I was only dreaming. Listen to me! Who wants to listen to this dry lecture on Hindu system of marriage when we see them every day on Indian television? Country is entirely. Looks like some important call there. Crazy! Hello. How can one take calls Hello. while taking a oh. class? Oh, it oh. only happens here in this campus. Okay, students, the class is dismissed for today. Let us continue tomorrow. <sighs> what a relief. It's over. My classmate and best friend, Ali. She's always reading something or the other. Hello. Hmm, she even reads me sometimes. You woke up late this morning? How many hours do you sleep at night? Ten hours not enough? Tire puncher. I mean, that bus driver craves so many passengers inside. We almost died. And ah, uh, top of that, he drove like mad. You know. Hey, by the way, what are you reading? Oh, a train to Pakistan. Ah. You keep on reading till you reach Pakistan. I'm going to library. Yes, I have some 15 minutes left. I'm not a regular visitor here. There are better places to be than the library. It smells of old books. <laughs> this is like a dust factory. I heard someone say that if you keep thinking of a girl, Again and again, all forces in the universe conspire to bring union with her. Oh, that smile. Am I dreaming again? Where did 
she go? Huh? She just vanished. History. Now, history became my favorite subject from that moment. I stepped out of the library, who knows? My next class happens to be history, and since I have a change of heart regarding this subject matter. I seriously look upon it with a different attitude now. I don't remember any class where I paid any attention to the history lectures. My notebook was blank, so was the history section of my brain. But something was happening inside my head this morning. The sight of her standing in history section made a difference. Now I want to read all the volumes of history textbooks. Suddenly. I want to learn so much of the subject, but why is everyone looking so studious today? I don't want to be disturbed today. What are you reading? History. What would my friends know anyway? I think I'll go and sit in the first row today. Oh, I love history. I thought I better learn something, but I didn't know I was in for a root shock. Sit down. So guys, are you ready for the viva? Yes sir! Why? Why nobody warned me that this was going to happen? Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Tell me something about the Battle of Panipat. I'm talking to you. Stand up. This nasty professor. Ah, oh, I want to die. I can't believe I got myself into this. So, you have been attending my class regularly, huh? Ah, oh, I look like a blinking idiot. And you, smart boy? I call him Fireboy. Good. Very good. Sit down. You better learn something from him. I'll never ever sit in the front row again. Never. Sit down. Guys, today we'll talk about the verdict on the United Nations Organization. In spite of all this criticism,
<laughs> Ricky Jungshi, why the hell didn't you tell me that there was a viva today? I thought you wanted to impress that question box. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Did not know you were unprepared. <laughs> Mulu, you explain. Why are you just sitting in the front in the history class? Uh, uh, forget. We'll discuss it later. After that, I'm damn hungry. Come, let's go to the cafeteria. <laughs> On your journey to Pakistan? I thought you were banking class. Bank Miss Aben's class? <laughs> no way. What? You also find her attractive? I thought you were allergic to girls. Ali, I'm just a normal human being with sense at the right place. I mean, do you think that I have an orange juice flowing at my veins and not blood? I thought so. Now tell me, what's so attractive about Miss Aben? Ah, Miss Aben. She. Secretly wished to be her husband. A novel type which was with a happy kind of ending. And now let's see what Pride and Prejudice is. I read it for all of us. Miss Aben, she is the most talked about lecturer on campus. She is smart and got all the qualities every man wants to see in a woman. Stop staring at her. I'm not staring at her. But I was thinking of the girl who captivated my heart. No girl in the college met my heart skip like she did. I keep thinking of all crazy things and any normal guy of my age would. Look at me, look at me, look at me, how fortunate I am. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Everybody wants to 